Well, good morning, everyone. Today looks to be a beautiful morning. Let's go see if Ophelia's awake. Hey, Ophelia, you awake? Ooh, hello there, Matthew. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ophelia. What are we talking about today? Well, let's read and find out, shall we? This is my favorite part. It's called The Night Who Took All Day. Ooh, goodness. This is so mythical. It was written by James Mayhew. I think this will be a hoot. Get it? Hoot? <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. Take it away, Ophelia. There once was a knight who thought he was brave and fearless and handsome. He longed to show everyone how daring he could be. He especially wished to impress the princess, who sat in her tower combing her long golden hair. But the princess wasn't very interested in watching him joust and fight. What do I need to do? Decided the knight. Is defeat a terrible dragon. Then the princess will see how marvelous I am. The trouble was, no one had seen a dragon for a hundred and one years. The knight rode through thick, tangled forests and looked into gloomy caves. He even peered down a raging volcano, but he could not find a single dragon. Then one day, without warning, a dragon appeared on the horizon, and he was a pretty big one too, with smoke pouring from his terrible mouth. The knight was delighted and ordered the squire to ready his armor. The squire ran to the armory, which was down a hundred and one steps. He chose the strongest suit of armor he could find and ran back up the stairs. And all the while, the dragon rampaged across farms, scattering cows and sheep. The townspeople were very scared and ran inside their houses. Back in the castle, the squire gave the armor to the knight. Not that armor, you fool! He bellowed. I need my shining armor with the curly flourishes. And fetch me a helmet with a visor. The squire ran down the hundred and one steps and found the knight's shining armor and a helmet with a visor. But when the knight saw the helmet, he was not pleased. It has no plume. Fetch me one immediately and a cloak to match. So the squire persuaded the royal peacock to part with a feather for a plume. But he couldn't find a cloak to match. He went all over the castle, yet nothing seemed quite right until the princess gave the squire her favorite cape. The knight was pleased. How do I look? He said to the squire. Very fine. Came the squire's reply. But sir, the dragon is on the palace. All I need now is my trusty sword. Said the knight. And my very best shield, the one with the dragon on it, that I got for my birthday. The squire ran down the hundred and one steps and fetched the sword and the shield. The knight grabbed them and swept off through the castle. It took a rather long time because the armor was heavy, and it was hard to see through the visor, and he kept tripping on his cloak. But he looked marvelous. Now where is that dragon? Outside, the princess stood before the dragon. Who needs saving? She said. Dragons are easy to tame. But I wanted to fight him, the knight protested. Well, you'll have to wait for another dragon, said the princess. And that might not be for another hundred and one years. The knight was very angry. He trudged back up to his tower. Meanwhile, the princess married the squire, and the dragon roared with laughter. They flew off together to see the world, and they lived happily ever after. Well, did you like the story today, Ophelia? I did, a lot. It was nice to see that a princess can do what a knight can do. A princess can do anything that a knight can do. Yeah, she can. Girls can do anything they set their mind to. But do you believe in dragons? I do believe that dragons are real in some form. I can't prove it, but I believe in them the same for the dinosaurs. All we have for proof are dinosaur bones. Maybe there are dragon bones out there somewhere. Oh, how wonderful. But could dragons really breathe fire in storm villages? Yes, but most TV shows and movies will only show that part. And some dragons are actually nice, like Puff the Magic Dragon and Figment, the Reluctant Dragon, and even Elliot. There are many nice dragons. And I think we may hear about Puff the Magic Dragon very soon. I can't wait. Is it time now, Matthew? Yes, it is time. We have a new part of the show we'd like to introduce to you all. Is it the letter people? Yes, it is. And today, we'll listen to Mr. K, the Kicking King, since K also starts with night from the book we read today. Here we go. Come and meet the letter people. Come and visit the family. 
Words are made of letter people. A, B, C, D, follow me. The letter people. Today, meet Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K's my name. Come on and kick with Mr. K. Come on and kick your cares away. Come on and kick the ball. Come on and kick the can. But never, ever kick a man. So the letter K can stand for kicking and king. And knight. Very good. And what should we never do to other people? Never kick other people and try to start a fight. Very good. We never want to hurt somebody in any way. We should always resolve our answers by speaking to an adult first. I know what else starts with the letter K. What's that, Ophelia? Kite. Yeah, kite does start with the letter K. Would you like to fly a kite with me, Ophelia? Very much so. Let's go. Well, everyone, I think me and Ophelia are going to fly this a bit more and then head inside for some water and snacks. Today was so much fun. Yeah, it was. And make sure you tune in next week to see what we have in store for you, including a new friend. Bye. Thank you for watching today. And as always, if you'd like to learn more about books and read other ones, make sure to check out your local library for more information. Bye. Bye.